Last time on Blopping Date, Nero attempted to get the girl. He did it. Hey there and welcome back. I'm Nero and we're taking another look at Blind Date. Now I already got one playthrough and if you haven't, click the whatever it is. I mean, it'll be in the description. You can click to see the first episode. There are 14 endings to this game. And I only got one of the 14, which means I have to keep on trucking through. Now, I am a little curious what else I can do, who else I can run into. I don't, I don't know. All right. All I know is last time, I ran to an individual with a television for a head. Who kind of reminds me of the character Mr. Movie I have on my review show. So, I'm not saying any lawsuits are going to happen. Okay. I'm just messing, of course. We're going to dive on into this. We're going to start, see what we can get. Just turn on the headset a little bit. Two women dating? What is this, bizarro world? <laughs> no, in all seriousness, though, lesbians are great. You check your phone. She's ten minutes late. You're not sure what to do, and discomfort starts to settle in your stomach. Uh, I think I'm gonna play this time like a jerk. I'm gonna I'm gonna go full tilt, full jerk. So we're gonna we're gonna go into jerk mode. So shift uncomfortably and adjust your collar. Not oh, crap. You're not even wearing a shirt with a collar. I'm the worst at getting dressed. Your shirt feels like it's hugging you, suffocating you. You begin to sweat. Mysterious woman. Hey, I'm so sorry I'm late. My car's in the shop, and I had to take the bus here. I understand it happens to the best of us. I'm sorry, I probably should have come and picked you up. Shit happens, I'll get over it. Yeah, shit happens. I, I suppose it does. It's okay. So, I'm Karen. I know your friend, Rebecca. What's your name? My name's Kevin, Gert, my name's... Uh, Sherbert B. Sports North. Yeah, we're gonna go with Sherbert B. Sports North. I've no reason to doubt your story, Sherbert. Of course not. This is only gonna end well. Tell me, what do you do? I used to work in mobile apps, but now I'm starting... I started trading in crypto instead. Me? I push papers for the man. Clock in and out. Hour lunch break, 9 to 5, kill me. Mostly clown around between shifts at a restaurant, not unlike this one. I'm gonna go with 2. I'm gonna go with kill me. The world is like a huge machine that needs all the... <laughs> Sorry, I keep like slipping out of her voice because like I actually, I'm, I'm actually kind of still invested in where the story goes. The world is like a huge machine that needs all the cogs and gears inside to function. You work for the man, it's not the worst. That's fair, but it doesn't make the job much more tolerable. Call me a machine cog? Heh. <laughs> if the wing nut fits. Do you think it'd be weird if we called crabs crumbs? Then what would we call cr This is already going off the rails now. Then what do we call crumbs? Crabs. Oh, so you're just swapping them. You got a bunch of crabs all over the floor. Got a. You've got crabs all over your shirt. I've heard there was a mass escape of crumbs at the zoo. Someone let them all loose. Okay, but what's gonna what's gonna be like a mass escape of crabs, really? I mean, you get like a broom and you just, you just sweep them back up into a bucket and you toss them back into a cage or a tank or whatever. Unless it's a coconut crab. Those things are massive, so you're boned. Oh my, what cute hermit crumbs. Look at two. Karen shifts uncomfortably for a moment and continues. You seem nervous. Are you okay? I'll admit I'm just a little bit. It's been a very long time since I've been out. Longer still since I've been on a date. I was at first, but I feel a little better now. Not really. You seem more bothered than I am. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with jerk. Well, sorry for me being presumptuous then. Maybe I'm showing my hand. Uh, I know what you could show. <laughs> so where are you from? From womb to tomb. Been living in the city my whole life. From womb to tomb. That's, that's cool. I moved here when I was a kid. I don't remember much of where I used to live. You could say I'm still a tourist. 
moved here a few months ago. I'm gonna go with mo Womb to Tomb. Really, me too. I, uh, <clears throat> really, me too. I love the skyscrapers, the ocean, everything about this place. I'd say it's probably one of, if the best place to live in. Sounds like you've had a lot of good experiences. I'm rather indifferent to it, actually. I could stay or go. Wow, and here I think the city's a trap. I've been trying to get out of here since high school. I'm gonna go two. What is that? It's just a place to live for me. Nothing beyond that. I don't have much tying me down here. Yeah, I'm gonna go two. I can understand that. Home is where the heart is, and you seem to be missing. Sorry, what? So, uh, who was your last lover? Oh, wow. Ha! Ha! Ah! Oh, jeez! Oh! <laughs> oh, this is getting bad. That's a little inappropriate. I prefer to keep that to myself. I prefer to keep that to myself. Why? Because it should be none of your concern. Why are you giving me the third degree? Why are you giving me the third degree? I'm just curious. No need to be hostile. Just drop it. Karen releases an, an apologetic sigh. Sorry, that was rude of me. Like I said, it's been a while since I've been on a date, and I'm not very good at interact interacting anymore. Laugh nervously. I understand. I've been out of commission for a while, too. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. I promise I won't do it again. No, Karen. I really appreciate you taking... Oh, I really appreciate you taking me out. This is a very nice restaurant. I was reading the reviews on the way over. So she was right judging me, man. She was right judging me before she even got to know me. The view is really cool, isn't it? This place was really the only place I could find that wasn't full on the night like this. Yeah. That's fortunate for us, I suppose. It seems like a really nice place. Continue. So, uh, seen any good shows lately? I've been watching a lot of nature documentaries lately. I uh, like... Uh, 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 uh. I honestly spend more time on my phone than I do looking up at the screen. Number two, mumbles. You like what? Mumbles and grumbles, murmurs and mumbles, murmurs and mumbles, murmured at mumbles. I'm gonna go with one, mumbly grumbles. What? Anime, it's anime. Anime, why the shame? Push it home after school, oh, rush it home after school to catch the next episode of Poyo Mecha X was my everything growing up. Poyo Mecha X. Now, I, I don't know what Poyo means in Japanese. I th think it might still mean chicken. Uh, Mecha's giant robots, and uh, X is always cool. A lot of people don't really get it. You watched Poyo Mecha X? Getting ready for school in the morning? I always asked my mom to help me put up my hair. I like... Oh, hair like Poyo's. Bless her, she tried. Huh, you must have been so cute. I didn't know the show's been on for that long. What do you mean by that? Whoops! I just mean it's still airing now. There's like 400 episodes, and that's not even including the movie. Come on, full, full jerkwad. It's way too many episodes. How have they still not found the Mecha City? You'd think they'd have stumbled into it by now. I think it's intentional sabotage at this point. Karen fidgets uncomfortably. What's up? So I was wondering, how was Cassandra doing? Who? Excuse me? How do you know that name? <laughs> Why'd you say that name? <laughs> do you seriously not remember your own mother's name? Oh, jeez, this is getting weird now. I do, but you're starting to freak me out. No, wait, the question is actually, how do you know her name? I'm getting whaps of serial killer vibes over here. Whaps of serial killer vibes! Karen glances up, upward thinking. I am so sorry my friend at work mentioned her. Apparently she used to... Apparently she used to work for the company I thought you'd say. You'd said it. I suppose that makes sense. No big deal. Weird coincidence. Yeah. Yeah, really weird. Continue. Why are you here? Why are any of us here, Karen? Why? Well, I've been trying to have a nice date. <laughs> wow. I'm... What's, uh... What's, what's going on over here? Oh! Oh, wait! Oh, that's not like the game glitching. That's like something I did because I'm being a miserable cuss, isn't it? Oh, oh, you can't see the woman because like the, the, the face. Hold on. Let me see if I can just, just hold on. Look at that. All this is like disappearing. I wonder, I wonder if that's because it's my fault. I think that's my doing. I think I caused basically like a rift in space time because of my jerkwaddishness. 
the jerk shepherd produces obnoxygen that causes mass deterioration. Well, I've been trying to have a nice day. I'm really beginning to question that. You mean, like, extensionally? Yeah, I'm just trying to have a nice day. That's not what I meant. Then what did you mean? Why are you here on this day? What made you come here today? Okay, seriously, what's your problem? I'm honestly at a loss for words. I'm sick of this. I'm leaving. Oh. Okay, seriously, what's your problem? My problem is you seem to not want to tackle the issue at hand here. What issue? I have no clue what you're talking about. What issue? You know exactly what I'm talking about. Your loneliness. That crippling, aching hole in your heart that eats at you every day of your miserable existence. You've been living alone for three years now. Such a long time. How do you know how long I've been living alone, Karen? I could see you shaking all the way from the entrance. Did you really think someone would- Oh, okay. Okay. They disintegrated. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. I can see, see you shaking all the way from the entrance. Did you really think someone would actually want to come and meet you? Oh. I just don't want to be alone anymore. You will always be alone, no matter what you try and do about it. Do you really think anybody could ever reasonably love you? You're wrong. I don't deserve to be treated like this. Uh, I don't deserve to be treated like this. But you do. You have nothing of value to offer to anyone, and the only way anyone would love you is if they treat you like I'm treating you now. You're a pile of human garbage. A reject. Thrown out and cast aside as you rightfully should be. You hate yourself and hunt everyone. Oh. You hurt yourself and everyone around you, and yet you feel like you're owed the right to be lonely. Shut up, shut up, shut up. I can't take it anymore. I just feel so empty. Shut up, shut up, shut up. You've been dead inside for years, maybe even your whole life. I've seen you eyeing up the pills in your medicine cabinet, and every time, your cowardice wins out. I need help, I need to be loved, I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. What you need is to realize that, how insignificant you are in the grand scheme of your own life. How feebly your voice resonates. You're fucking insane. No more insane than you are. And no matter how crazy I am, you're still a whiny little squirt who only exists to bog others down with your problems and be continually achingly lonely. Please, I'm begging you, stop saying these things. Why are you saying these things? I don't even know why I came here tonight. Number one. I'm sorry, I know I sound angry and I am, but it's not because I hate you. I just hate looking into your eyes and only seeing pain day in and day out. You're hollow. You're on a blind date. You should be happy to be here, to be talking to me, and yet you look so hollow. I just want to be loved. I just want to be accepted. I just want to be happy. I just want to be happy. We all want something, but unfortunately, you don't deserve that. This was a mistake. You should have. You shouldn't have come here. You should have stayed home. Ordered a pizza. No reason to take this abuse from me. I could never fix everything that's fucked up about you anyway. But you can. But you should. But you won't. But you should. I really shouldn't. I'm not gonna just magically fix your problems. If anything, I'm just make them worse. I'm not the solution. I'm the problem. You're the problem. You get in the way of your own happiness. You were my obsession. I've followed you your whole life. I've never seen anyone so unhappy. So what do I do now? Could I ever be happy? Why do I do this to myself? Man, look how crazy everything's going. It's like snowing outside. Like the light's freaking out. It's like, uh, it's like when Ice King first got his, uh, crown to start kicking in and it started to snow in note number three. I honestly don't know. That's something you'll have to figure out alone. You're not fit for a relationship. You shouldn't have to rely on a blind date to be here. You shouldn't be able to meet people on your own. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have come here. Oh, you should be able to meet people on your own. God, you're a mess. None of this would have happened. I'd say I've made things worse, but you were already a mental wreck before you walked in here. That's just what I am. Why would you... Why would you know that? I'm sorry. Why would you know that? It hardly matters. You need to realize that nothing is going to change. That a girl isn't going to change anything. One may come into your life every once in a while, but you'll 
just be back where you are now. The underlining problem never gets fixed. Does it ever end? Will it ever get better? Will I ever find love? Does it ever end? No, it doesn't. You lead a barren, desolate life. Does this scare you? Does it terrify you? Because it should. You are alone, completely, utterly worthless. You shouldn't have come... Y come. Your life is just going to be one endless stream of misery that only ends in your inevitable death. Good gracious, Karen. Faced with all this, with your loneliness, with this abuse, what are you going to do? I'm going to stay. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave? Oh, are you leaving? I'm sick of ta taking this from you. There's no point in continuing. I'm sick of taking this from you. What are your problems? Is it going to help? You'll find yourself keep going around and around and around. I'll make my own choices. Thank you. Is that... Is, is it though? I wonder. If you were to do all of this again, would you choose any d differently or are you doomed to return here again and again? You check your phone. She's ten minutes late. You're not sure what to do. And discomfort starts to settle in your stomach. Oh man, I got some kind of pop-up over there and I didn't read it because I was reading that. Oh. So just reset time. Huh. So apparently being a toxic, miserable cuss didn't get me anywhere. That could be a metaphor for life? I don't know. But I know that I'm going to conclude this episode here. I like doing this with each ending in mind. They're short, bite-sized episodes you can enjoy and digest at your leisure. For other games in the future, maybe I'll go longer. Depends on the game. But for something like this, I find going episode by episode, just episodic, bit by bit, it's a good experience. What did you guys think of this ending? Was it messed up? Obviously playing the jerk didn't get me much anywhere, so I shouldn't probably do that anymore. But I'll keep exploring. We got 14 endings in total, minus 2, so that gives us... 12? Yeah. I believe 12 endings to go through. Man, I... I if, if I just box that math, now, now you guys are all going to know I'm bad at mathematics. Even something as simple as subtraction. But it doesn't really matter. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share it, social media, and, you know, all that jazz. It helps the channel grow. You know, comment down below. And as always, guys, be sure to tune in to Toon Grin.